Today I want to talk to you about uh, one quick way to share pictures in Moodle or eCommunity. To do that, let's uh, go here to our eCommunity page and log in. I'll log in as myself. Should have the same rights as any teacher. Then um, go to a course that you're a teacher in, one that you have editing in. I'm going to go down to the sandbox. It's a play area. In fact, any teachers can go there and register as a teacher. If you just say enroll me in the course, you'll automatically be put in as a teacher so you can play here. Uh, and then I'm going to add something. I'm going to add something called Lightbox Gallery. Lightbox is probably the easiest uh, and an interesting, nice way to share pictures in your course. So to add something, I have to turn editing on. I turn it on, and I get all these funny icons. Well, that's just for moving or deleting anything. I want to add something, so I'll just go to a section that's not so busy. Ah, here's one. And I'm going to add a resource, and I'm going to add a Lightbox Gallery. Remember, Lightbox Gallery is a way to share pictures. So I'm going to pick that and say uh, simple um, photo sharing yeah. and I can describe it um, our trip to Europe okay most classes don't go all the way to Europe so our trip to the lagoon <laughs> that's more likely in my classes so just something like that and uh, and then you're going to have a directory. This is like a file place where all these pictures are. Now I didn't pre-make one, so not a bad. That's kind of a bad thing. So actually, I'm going to leave all of these options and quickly zip out of here and go back to my course. Uh, and what I just made here was a gallery. Where was it with blood? There it is. Simple photo sharing, but I didn't tie it to a folder. Probably should have done that first. So. Uh, one of the ways to get out all the files in your course is in the administration panel you'll see a little folder that says files right um, and then I click on that and then now I'm looking at the back end of this course kids never go here uh, and I'm gonna make a folder I'm gonna call that folder um, photo or something like that or photos okay hit create now I have this folder photos and I'm gonna go back navigate back to my course I'm going to go to the thing I just made, simple photo sharing, but I'm going to edit it because I didn't have that folder. So I'm going to edit that, and it goes back to all the settings behind here. You can see my name, what I called it, but then the image directory. Now I'll make photos because that's what I want. And then other things, I just leave them as defaults. You can play with that if you want. You can have these photos so people can comment. Um, and it's an interesting way to post a photo and comment. You can use this actually for sharing assignments, which I've done, and that can be a really neat way to let students comment on other student work, um, public or not. So that's all good. So I'm just leaving it all defaults just to show you what it looks like. And I'll hit save and display this time, and you'll see, oh, uh, here's our little description, here's the title, but there's no photos. Now I, as a teacher, can click on add image and go browse and uh, here's pictures of me and and hit add an image and now there will be an image right in here now uh, I find this on oh, here I'll add another image just to keep this to show you this uh, the way this works um, now when a student comes here uh, they'll be able to see these images in fact let me show you I'll go back to my course and I'll log out as John Conrad and I'll log in as a student sorry I'm going so fast but I'm trying to keep these quick no, BRHS student. All right, and as a student, if I go in here and go to Sandbox, go down, here, here it is, simple photo sharing. Now, students can come here, they see these pictures. If they click on a picture, it, it automatically resizes and, and shows the picture in a little bit greater detail um, next, and it'll show the picture again, right? So uh, this is a great way to celebrate stuff that's going on in your class. And I already mentioned, uh, if you zip over to... Um, course here, Bio 20. I think I did something in Bio 20 past projects. Yeah, I've used this, like you can see here, students are sharing uh, concept maps, so they're actually posting their work to this place. But if you caught something there, I've done something a bit tricky. I'm going to close this now and go back to um, uh, uh, go back to eCommunity and um, one of the problems as a student, you'll see when I come here and I'll say simple photo sharing, and there's no way for them to add, they're just consuming. So the first part of the tutorial, I've shown you how to make this lightbox gallery and how to put photos in there yourself. Next part, if you're good, just stop right there, go enjoy. But the next part of the tutorial is I really like students to be able to add. 